Hello everyone, day 10 of my Ramadan fast. I hadn't eaten for a period of this is 17, 24 hours. 24 hours I went without food and without water. No, to correct that, the water part was um, uh, four hours ago I had the water. But I haven't eaten any food for 24 hours. And I fell asleep and it was an emergency. And like I said, when you do these vlogs, you've got to be honest. I never cooked any food. Um, guess what I ate for my dinner, my one meal? This will shock you. I haven't, I can't remember the last time since I ate this kind of food. I had a McDonald's Big Mac, yes, to be shocked. A McDonald's Big Mac, two cheeseburgers, apple pie, and I drank a uh, and we had it with the fries, the junk fries with Stacey's stomach. And I had this um, Purdy's drink. Um, earlier on I had, um, in the steam room, uh, uh, two freshly squeezed lemons. And a hot pot of ginger. If you see this ginger, I drink this root boiled ginger. It's very hot, like fire. This is going to destroy the McDonald's straight in my stomach. So anyhow, tomorrow I've got a healthy dish. A vet, um... A vegan dish tomorrow with tomatoes, mushrooms. I've got to go out and get some pumpkin. We've got sweet tammy around here as a dessert. Dates, some more ginger, ginger, radishes, mangoes, beetroot, um, mixed spinach with rocket. Uh, got some vegetable cubes to add to the cooking, and also my vitamin supplement as normal. The fast today was the hardest fast of all. I, I should be getting used to it, to it by now. But my body's metabolism seems to be really fast now. As I'm fasting, I'm find, I find out what's happening is I'm getting this hunger. I was hungry from 9 o'clock this morning, which is unusual. I'm usually hungry later on in the afternoon, 3 o'clock onwards. I was starving at 9, 9 o'clock in the morning, and it's extremely difficult. But here I am, um, day 10. It's early hours of the morning, as you can see. Almost reaching the deadline before I can eat anything. You see the time the clock behind me? The time I've got literally a quarter of an hour to get this the hot ginger down me. <sighs> Birds like fire this does. Strong root ginger. <sighs> Again I thought about life today. And real surpri uh, not surprising, but this is a normal thing. I thought about the poor without food. And I'm thinking about Iran. You know Iran, the problem with Iran and America. And, and I'm feeling sorry for Iran. I'm thinking, I'm feeling that people want to they wanna be, create peace. They want to have sanctions lifted from them. But yet still, I think America is making it difficult for them. Like, I don't know about politics, so I can't get involved with any affairs. America's got more knowledge than what I have. Iran's got more knowledge than what I am. But why can't two nations just get on and have a peaceful Middle East? Why is it so complicated? So, it's just a bit upsetting to know that people will suffer if a war breaks out. You always, you always get people suffer. Children will suffer. People go hungry. So as I'm fasting, I'm thinking of the people who can't get easy access to this food because of sanctions all over the world, sanctions against Russia, sanctions against Iraq, sanctions against North Korea. When is it going to end? When are there going to be people who look after each other and stop um, killing and, and hating? Another thing I was thinking about today is uh, my three children I've lost um, as a result of a bad marriage. And um, just to say I love them very much, but I don't like the way things have gone and the way they've um, turned to hate. I wish they had turned to God and realised the difficulties their father had in a very difficult marriage. Try to understand that you don't know everything in a marriage. You've got children and what you, you think you know, you don't know. You know some things, but you don't really know the suffering your father went through being with your mum. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm happy now with my lovely Isaac and my lovely partner Laura. We've got a few problems, myself and Laura, because of um, her ordeal when she was young, her trauma. It comes into the relationship now, and so sometimes I struggle with her, sometimes. You've got to be honest, and be honest on 
on this vlog. You can't just put a vlog out and make sure all is sweet because all is not is sweet. Some days I feel really fed up and feel like I want to leave. And um, it gets on top of me because I've got a lot to deal with. I helped her a lot through her trauma and I put up with her family. A lot of hate from my family because of my mother is um, racist and a lot of foreign people. So um, it's their loss. I've taken myself away from those sort of people and get on our own life. And I realise we just need yourself. Be happy with yourself. Be confident with yourself. Don't um, want or look for people to like you. If they like you, they're going to like you, whether it's your children or not. If they love you, they'll love you. If they don't love you, they don't love you. And that's the way you live your life. And that's the way I live my life. Before this, I was suffering, um, uh, missing my children like hell. But I realised I realize these children don't love me. So I'm worried about so let it go. And I've got my um, lovely um, son today, um, playing with him. I've got playing with my son, watching him grow. Every day, watching him grow, recording him, and get on with my life. Get on with it fast. This fast is so meaningful to me. I'm enjoying the effects it's having on me. I'm feeling, feeling my body shrink, feeling healthier. It's clear my mind. It's very good. Oil or ginger, you get the ginger, as in the root. You cut off a piece of ginger, depends how strong you want it. Say about this bit here, cut it in, in a, I'll say a, a, a quarter of this amount. You peel it, slice it, put it in a pan with filtered water, boil it, then cool down, then drink. Drink it hot, hot, and then you've got the spice as well. It goes down the throat and it's very good for you. again is artificial intelligence. Everyone on the mobile phone, lost in their mobile phone, they've got you already. You're addicted to your mobile phone and you don't know it, especially young people. On a mobile phone, if you notice that um, whenever you go to restaurants and the way life is, everyone forces you to get apps and you can't operate without apps. You're forced to use this technology. If you haven't got this technology, you were left out. Let's say for instance, you want to order an Uber cab. Uber cab, you have to have an app to order an Uber cab. I refuse to get involved with that technology. And I do not want any any um, Apple Watch on my hand. And then they've got these new tattoo watches that are going to come out. They go into your system. And then you get the neural networks into the brain where they connect the computer to your brain. I do not want that at all. Let's say I'm not going to be pessimistic. I want to see how it goes on other people first. Let me hear other people's experiences. And also, I want to get feedback. When it does the technology just come out, um, people on it, if they're controlled by a high authority, have they got their own mind still? Or is their mind taken away from them? Because I truly believe that this thing, it's a, a control mechanism to control everyone. Everyone is already controlled by their mobile phones. If you watch them, tube stations, in pubs, bars, people are on their mobile phones. That's all you see nowadays. You can't talk to someone. Say, so, hello, hello, mate. And then, it's happening. Take a good look around you. Compared to the 1980s to now. Take a look. Nanotechnology. Everyone's on it. All this green, all this green stuff is about to change. Life is, life is about to change as we know it. I'm just ready for it. I'm aware of what's happening. I'm very aware of what is happening. And by the way, I was um, at my local um, spa today. And um, someone said to me... Um, um, you haven't eaten for so long. Why haven't you ever eaten for so long? And I said, um, I'm doing a fast. And he said, um, uh, you're mad, you're crazy, you're ain't crazy, this and that. I said to him, why do is my business? It doesn't concern you. What I do is for me. And I don't really care about what you think. I left it at that. It's very negative people. And he started chatting about Muslims and say, oh, this, I said, just keep quiet, shut up. And he kept quiet. But he started to annoy me, so I, kept, I shut him up. I said I'm not Muslim, I'm born in the UK, I believe in God, I haven't adapted to any religion because I haven't been christened, but I think I'm Christian because that's why I'm in a Christian country, so I look at myself, but I haven't taken up any religion, but I am English and I believe in God, 
hearts and that's it. God, I think God is overrules all of us. All this religion and people fighting that person, Hindu, Sikh, Muslim, Christian, Catholic, are oh, killings, it's incredible, it's just horrible to think there's a God and all this is happening. Five more minutes. Just imagine I had to scoff all this lot in five minutes, the whole lot. I'm joking. So I feel content. I feel today, um, yesterday I was rushed yesterday by the minute and that, but I feel now I'm content. I've had my ginger, I've had two lots of this ginger today, two of these jars, there's a lot. So I've had all together, three, four and a half, the lemon was uh, 750 ml, or 1.5. I've had um, about six pints of fluid today, including about a pint and a half, uh, four, two, two pints of ginger, two pints of boiled root ginger, three pints of water, and lemon. That's six and a half pints altogether today. I'm happy with that. So let's talk about food. The foods we eat, nowadays we do not know what we're eating. A lot of our food is poison and a lot of our food is killing us. People have all sorts of illnesses and it's because of our food. What you want to do is try and avoid the mass supermarkets. The Sainsbury's, the Tesco's, the Asda, the mass markets where they produce mass foods, where they're all packaged. What you want is to go to the groceries farmers markets but you've got to watch some farmers markets because some farmers markets are con what you want this is for me this is where i shop the best shops for me are the turkish shops in my local area these turkish groceries they source original um organic and naturally farmed foods without all this spray and pesticides on them you, you have to get foods that grow off the branch, not these packets that are all polished and they look shiny, like you go to Tesco and see the apples, and they look like they're shiny, like a plastic ball. Those apples, they don't look natural. They look all clean, squeaky clean. I was in the Tesco, in a, the, the Turkish shop, and there was organic potatoes with, full of mud. And this English woman says to me, cool, how can you buy them? How can you buy those potatoes? They're filthy, full of mud. So you go to Tesco's and you get the squeaky clean ones. The King Edwards, they're squeaky clean. I said to her, why should I want squeaky clean potatoes? These, these are organic. These potatoes are organic stuff. You give them a wash. After all, we don't eat the skin, we peel it. So she never understood what real food, food was. She said, oh, I can't buy those carrots. They look, all, they look a bit pity. These are the organic carrots. If you notice, the carrots which have been sprayed look too squeaky clean. They're too squeaky clean. You know, I like to have the the organic natural stuff it's more money but it's better for your life let's say for instance you've seen a recall with the, the cow and gate baby food they recalled them from tesco's and the, the boots they found a bits of plastic rubber gloves in the food so can you imagine you're feeding your baby foods like that and if you haven't checked anything those that can go into your food supply and cause your baby serious harm again look at strawberries in australia they find these needles all over the place needles and strawberries um, we don't buy strawberries as much as we used to I've got to admit it has affected us um, where um, on our frequency of buying strawberries so food poison people eating slowly eat to a slow death and I have to say something about meat um, I've had this row with um, raw vegans and vegan people about meat and about how hard it is and you have to uh, live your life and balance your diet. But I'll tell you something, vegan people are right about meat being seriously not good for you. Um, meat is toxic poison. As well as the, the pollution to the planet and the cruelty to animals, meat is a killer because you don't know what you're eating. The things you can be sure that you're eating is antibiotics, um, Artificial animal feed, growth hormones, all into the meats and the chickens you eat. And you're eating that in. 
And with the fish, you, you, you get these pellets they feed them, and then the water is acidic and toxic. And they put these antibiotics in the water because the fish get infected from the farms where they're all compressed together, thousands of fish, all close together, very unhealthy. So um, I'm gonna put some links down below and you'll, you'll watch about farmed fish. I also uh, put a link down below, you can see David Icke, how he speaks about artificial intelligence. So I'll put those two down for you. So look out and read below and f watch those, those two videos. So we're at time now, we're just approaching four o'clock and the Ramadan fast, Ramadan eating period is over. So I cannot touch anything as from now, as if I do, my fast is broken. I've reached 10 days, which is one third of the way. And I'm deadly serious that I'm gonna complete this whole fast. So um, what else I've got to say? I just wanna be healthy. I'm recovering from this flu. I had a flu all week, I've been very, very ill with the flu, but I am recovering, I'm okay now. Um, I just couldn't move properly, I had this flu, and got good one day, who knows when you have the, it's a cold, but towards the flu, a very bad one, all my, all my bones are hurting the skin, who's ever had a cold or flu, and you think you're getting better, and all of a sudden you sink down back again, and you rise again, you peak up again, thinking you're getting better, and you peak down again. Another word I've got to say, it's a place I remembered very much when we visited, um, Australia. I really loved Australia. And Adelaide, was the place I love. Adelaide, Kangaroo Island. Australia really surprised me how nice the people were and the clay, how clean it was compared to the UK and the heat. And it was lovely, Australia. Very lovely place. Would love to go again. Very large country. Okay, so I um, hope you enjoyed this vlog. Think about um, things positive. And I said, I wish I had my children in my life as well, with Isaac, they can meet Isaac and just live a normal life, Forget, get back to the past. We're all human, we all make mistakes, even though we do things to, to um, try to help you, your father's doing something that he feels he's helping you for, even though you don't see it, the action I took, because I was worried about you, so you um, then got angry and tried to hurt your father, which I'm sure you, which you succeeded, but like I said, life goes on, because your mum done worse, the way she behaved, and whether she conducted herself as a wife, that hurt me more than anything. So um, I'm so glad I'm out of that. And I'm with Laura now, we've got Isaac and her family, and we have to work together, myself and Laura, to build our family strong, so Isaac has got a secure future and a stable background. That's what he needs, a stable background. And I wish I could give my children I want to be married with a stable background. But I started with a broken steering wheel, which is the right, the wife, ex-wife, broken steering wheel. Once you've got a broken steering wheel, you can't drive straight. And that's simple as. Human being, I'm not an artificial intelligence robot. If I was an artificial intelligence robot, we'd probably be married still by now. So anyhow, um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And thanks for watching. And look forward to seeing my, my lovely dish tomorrow. Thanks for watching.